Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Today I'm going to be reviewing a an IPA that's near and dear to my heart because uh, uh, last July when Nancy and I got married, um, this was the uh, one of the beers that we served at the reception afterwards. So uh, I'll just go ahead and dig right in, and that is this is the Belching Beaver Phantom Bride, uh, made in collaboration with the band The Deftones. Um, you know, I, I've had, it's been a while since I've listened to that song, and I went through and looked at it again and was trying to think of some wonderful quote uh, from the song that would apply to the situation, and really I just I didn't see anything that I thought was uh, true to it. So if you're not a Deftones fan, definitely check them out. Uh, they're, they're a good band. Um, but uh, the Phantom Bride here, uh, IPA, has a 7.1 ABV, according to Untapped, it has 55 IBUs. You can't find it anywhere on the can. I didn't go to the website, so maybe I should have done that. Uh, this was canned, what, uh, six weeks ago? And of my friend, uh, uh, yeah, okay, on Untapped, 22 of my friends have given this a 4.06 cumulatively. 22,000 of us have given a cumulative score of 3.98, almost 4. Beer Advocate had its first ranking of this beer on the 1st of October 2016. Uh, the score there is 4.04 amongst 166 reviews. 4.04 on Beer Advocate scale is exceptional. And Rate Beer has a cumulative score of 3.75. So, this is a well-received, well-liked beer. I liked it a lot. That's another reason why I had it uh, at, at my wedding reception. Um, <clears throat> I, uh, geez, I don't really have any more information to throw out at you, I think. I mean... Uh, this pint can cost $2.99 normally. I had a coupon. I paid $2.54, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's in a can, so I'm, you know, those who watch this show regularly know that uh, I'm a big fan of cans. Let's see what we say have here. Named after the ethereal song by the one and only Deftones, Phantom Bride IPA. is a blend of Amarillo, Citra, Simcoe, and Mosaic Hops. Delance delicately balanced with a perfect drinkable mix of citrus and hoppy goodness a true original deftones belching beaver collaboration envisioned by chino moreno and skillfully crafted by thomas peters sit back put on your headphones and drink away cheers nathan ingredients water malt hops and yeast yep that's beer all right okay so let's dig in shall we i'm going to be using my tenea creek uh ipa glass because the other beer that i served at my wedding reception was the uh, Gypsy Fade from Tanea Creek. So I had two IPAs at my reception. Um, one more thing about this, uh, really quickly. I know I say this pretty much every week, but just to let you know, uh, go into a Tanea, go into the Tanea Creek on Tuesday. Slap down six bucks. You're going to get a glass like this, or there's a few other designs. It's going to be full of Tanea Creek beer. Come back, slap down three dollars. You're going to get refills. Take this glass home with you, come back next Tuesday, slap down three bucks, boom, the refills start again. So, that ain't bad, eh, is it? Okay. And this is pouring very golden. Very light golden. And... Got a lot of carbonation that's kind of dissipating, so I'm not going to describe that as any more than medium high. I mean, it is high, don't get me wrong, but... It's not as high as, uh, as, as if, it's not high enough to call it high carbonation. Smell the hop profile, that's for sure. A little bit of citrus on the back end. Not, uh, not grapefruit like you oftentimes smell, but. Persimmon. That's what it smells like. That's what it smells like to me, persimmon. Uh, so. It, normally, it, grapefruit is a very predominant uh, smell. I think citra hops kind of have a grapefruit smell to them. Um, but uh, this this is a more persimmon smell. A little bit of lemon on the edge. Uh, super citrusy, mondo hoppy. Just the slightest bit of malt on the back end. Uh, a little bit of sweet malt. All right, going to dig in. Cheers. Yep, it's everybody as good as I remember it being. <clears throat> I'm going to describe that as about a medium, about a medium mouthfeel. Not medium low or medium high, just, just medium mouthfeel. A little bit of spikiness. Uh, the hot bitterness you would expect, but it's not overpowering. When I saw 55 IBUs, I thought, yeah, that sounds about right. It's not super crazy hops. 
Why not super crazy bitterness? Um, <clears throat> it's definitely one of the most refreshing IPAs I've ever had. This is a summer IPA for sure. Um, this is a, this is an IPA to drink on a hot day, sitting out on the porch, chilling for a bit. This is not a lawn mowing beer with its 7.1 ABV, uh, but uh, whew, sorry, it's I live in the desert and I'm a fat guy, so I'm gonna sweat throughout this whole video. Um, polish this bad boy off. Yeah. Uh, This has uh, the, the original bitterness, but it actually finishes with a little bit of sweetness. Um, I'm guessing that's that sweet malt that I smelled a little bit earlier. Does it say, yeah, water, malt, hops, and yeast, doesn't say, <laughs> doesn't give a breakdown of the malts. In an IPA, you don't normally expect that. Just maybe a breakdown of the uh, hops, but not the malt. <clears throat> bitterness, like I said, with a medium mouth feel. Uh, that does actually lend its way to um, a sweet finish, and uh, it's even a little crisp, surprisingly. So this is a hell of an IPA. Uh, it showed up in a uh, <coughs> in a can, so it's getting a 4.75 on Untapped from me. And uh, I, you know, as I said, I like this beer enough to have it at, have it at my wedding, and I like this beer enough to give it a 4.75. So until next time, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. And cheers.